Hello Year 8. Now this is your first video. I'm showing you how to make your clock design on SketchUp. So I'm going to go very slowly, uh, very clearly, and remember you can always pause the video and rewind it and go back if you're slightly unsure. Um, that's the best thing about videos. So to begin with, you need to make sure that you are logged in on Google, on your Google account. So that's your uh, account that you use for Google Docs, Gmail, anything linked to school. So your, not your personal account, but your school account. And then to access your SketchUp, you go into the little dots, Google Apps, click on them, and then you scroll all the way to the bottom, and SketchUp very confusingly has changed their logo to a blue logo. I much prefer the old red one, but this is SketchUp for schools. So you're gonna click on this, and then it'll open up a new tab. Uh, may take a few seconds to load. But that is absolutely fine. Now, lots of people like to um, split screen when they're doing their SketchUp. So but I'll go through that in a minute. But the best way is kind of to move your SketchUp to one side of the screen, like so. And then on this side, have the kind of the videos that show you what to do. But we will go through that in a minute. So what we're going to do is you're going to create a new file. Um, and the template needs to be in millimetres. So instead of clicking Create New, you're going to drop down and then go to Decimal Millimetres. And that is the template that you must be in, in product design, always. So we're going to click on that. And then again, it will take a few moments to load. And we are in our correct template. This person's put here for scale. You don't have to worry about um, him. The faceless man but for now we are just going to keep him so you'll know if your clock's too big if it's the same size as him so in terms of scale keep him there um, and just to get started we're obviously going to draw our pine block with the rectangle tool so i'm going to go over here to the left always hover the mouse if you don't know what the tool is it always tells you what it is just in case so you can check that you're on the right lines so i'm going to go to rectangle tool click on that you don't need to click on any of the sub menus because it's already got it and then you will always start our designs from the center point. The origin, it will select, it will snap to that. I'm going to click on that, and we're going to pull out. Now, a lot of people get this wrong, because what they do is they click, pull out, and then they still holding onto the mouse button, and they let go. And that's not what we want to do. We want to click. So click, push your finger down, and then off again, and then you pull out, so it's all elastic like that. So it needs to be all stretchy and elastic, so you can put your own measurements in. And what we're going to put in is 180. So at this point, you do not uh, touch the mouse, you just leave it there, and you just type the numbers on the keyboard, 180, and you'll see them appear in the bottom right-hand corner where it says dimensions, comma, 90, and then you're going to press enter. And hopefully you have now drawn your size for your piece of pine. So we've got the exact shape. And I can check to see if it's the right scale, and it definitely looks like it's the right size because it is much smaller than my template man over here. So I'm going to select him and press delete. Now I can zoom in. So remember the middle control wheel, the scroll wheel, is zoom in and out. So I can zoom in and out with that. And I can, if I hold the middle wheel in, if I move the mouse around, I can pan around the area as well. So finally, we're just going to improve the thickness. So we're obviously going to make it the right thickness of the piece of pine. So we're going to go over to the push-pull tool, click on that. Move the mouse over the rectangle, click on it, pull the mouse up. Again, not get, making the mistake of clicking, pulling up, then letting go, because it will just let go where you've, where you've left it. We need to click finger down, finger up, then move the mouse upwards, or down if you were going down, but we're going to go up, let go of the mouse, and we're going to type in 20, 20 being the 20 mil thickness of the pine, press enter. And there we go, you've made your block of pine, we haven't added the right texture to it yet, but we've got our block of pine ready to go and to drill our hole into. There we are.